Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple product on Magento 2. So if you're brand new to Magento or just need a refresher, this is the place to be. Hi, I'm Rebecca Troth from Magentube and I've teamed up with OS Training to bring you some quick Magento 2 tutorials. Two tutorials. Isn't that exciting? Let me just grab my handy pointer here. It's handy. It's got a hand. Anyway, so I'm going to stand here and I'm going to show you clips of what I'm talking about here. Before we get into actually creating the product, there's a few things that I need to mention. The first being attribute sets. Attribute sets determine the fields that will be available during product creation and the values that will show to the customer. They are templates and choosing one is the first step that you're going to need to take when creating a product. As standard, Magento comes with a default attribute set, which contains the most commonly used attributes. And for this video, I'll be using that default attribute set. The next thing I need to tell you about, tax. Magento provides a variety of options for defining tax. Tax classes are used to define tax rules, and tax rules are a combination of a product class, a customer class, a tax zone, and a tax rate. You can add new ones, edit existing ones, and do a whole bunch of things that needs its own video. But as standard when you're creating a product, the options that you'll have for the tax class will be taxable goods or not. So I'm just going to use those for now. Don't worry about it. So let's get on to creating a product! Woo! Now funnily enough, the simple products are the simplest Magento products, and they'll be the foundation of your catalogue. They are physical items with a single skew, a bit like this hand pointer, that can be used individually or in association with a bundled, grouped or configurable product. Now, in your Magento 2 admin, click Products and then under Inventory, choose Catalogue. This will load up your catalogue workspace or catalogue grid and it lists all of the products in your store, which for me at the minute is zero. To change this, we need to go to the upper right corner and click on the Add Product menu. This will bring a list of all the products that you can create in Magento, but today we're just going to choose Simple Product. And here's that first step I mentioned, choosing the attribute set. I just have the default, so that's the one I'm going to use. And welcome to the product workspace. This is basically the same for all products, but the fields may change depending on what attribute set you use. You can now go forth and fill in all of the required options for your product. But remember that this product isn't ready to go live yet, so make sure you change that enable product switch to no. Fill in the name, the SKU will auto populate, but you can change that, the price, the tax class, the quantity. Remember that as standard, products will always be set as in stock. So if it's not in stock, you're going to need to change that. Enter the weight, check the visibility, assign it to the relevant categories or create new ones. Choose the country of manufacturer and so on and so on. You may have more attributes available here depending on if you've made any changes to the attribute set or if you're using a different one. Next on the list is complete the sections below as needed. You've got content which is used to enter the main product descriptions that will be shown on the page. Image and videos, the place where you can do all of your image management. Search engine optimization. this area is used to define the URL key along with the meta information that search engines will use to index the product. Related products upsells and cross-sells where you can select additional products that may be of interest to the customer. So a simple product can have custom options which kind of makes it act a little bit like a configurable product except it's a single SKU for all the product variations. These are often used for products that can be personalised so you can add a field where people can enter their name or text or whatever they want. And a simple product with custom options is also sometimes known as a composite product. Products in website, this section is used to define which website the product will be available in. In a single website installation, the website checkbox is marked by default. Design, this gives you the ability to apply a different theme to the product page, change the column layout, update where product options appear, and add some custom XML code if you want to. And then gift options. You've done all that, ready to publish, your product's perfect, great, scroll on up to the top, switch that enable product over to yes and click save. You're then going to want to run on over to the front end and check that it's working correctly. What's that? Nothing there? That's fine, go back into your admin, go down to system and under tools click index management and check the status of your indexes and clear your cache also in system under tools and cache management. Still nothing? Okay, well then you've probably done something wrong and that's on you, not me. Point that finger at yourself! You're the one to blame! At this point you're going to want to check that the product is definitely enabled, that it's got inventory and is marked as in stock, that the visibility is set to catalogue comma search, that it's ticked to be in the website that you're looking for it in, and then that it's associated to the categories that you're looking for it in. If you've checked all of that and it's still not there, try going directly to the product via its URL. If you've done that and it's still not working, you're probably going to want to manually re-index the site via the command line and I will put a link at the end of this video to another video showing you how to do that. 
And also clear the clash again. Still nothing? Okay, then you're probably going to want to get yourself over to the Magenta community forums or Stack Exchange or call someone like a developer or a counsellor or leave a comment below and we'll help you. You can also use the comments below to ask us questions or let us know what you want to learn next. Good luck and have fun!